Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about graded sports cards versus raw sports cards. Now, if you have been following me and you are updated with my videos, you probably noticed that I did post a video similar to this one just yesterday, but I went through and I put that video on private because shout out to Flipping Steve and Nico K. They did comment on that video saying that some of my information in that video was off so I wanted to take their comments and some more of my own personal research to make a new video and redo that one so I'm not providing you guys with any false information. Now, in my personal opinion, I do like going right ahead and just buying graded sports cards off of eBay rather than, you know, going and buying raw. But buying raw is an alternative solution. I'm going to talk about raw cards after we get over the graded. Now, if you are new to sports cards or if you're just getting back into sports cards, maybe you took a break a couple years or, you know, you did it when you were a child and now you're just getting back into it because you hear all the hype. Graded sports cards are basically you if you, you know, you buy raw sports cards off of eBay, off of Facebook, off your friend, um, or if you're opening packs, you're ripping packs and you get a good card out of that and you want to send that card into a company to get graded so that that value of that card will increase. And what I mean by that is if your card is graded rather than just a raw card, the value goes up tremendously. For example, this card right here, the PSA 10 Donovan Mitchell is going for about 70 to 75 bucks. And right here, I was able to buy three just raws for around 25. So you can see that the price is tremendously different from graded to raw. Now, there are multiple grading companies that you can send your cards to. I'm not going to go over how to send your cards to get them graded. I'm going to make that its own separate video in the future. So make sure you do have that bell notifications button turned on so you don't miss that video. But again, there are multiple uh, grading companies that you can send them to. The top three right now that are currently dominating sports card grading are PSA, BGS or Beckett and SGC. Now, out of those three, PSA and BGS are the two most dominating sports card graders right now. But those three aren't the only three companies. There are multiple other companies out there, but those three are the only ones that really stand out in the market right now. Now, in hand, again, I have two PSA graded cards. I don't currently own any BGS or SGC or any other companies graded cards, so I won't be able to show you the differences between like the cases or value or anything like that but I will throw some pictures up on the screen when I talk about them. Now the grading scales of PSA and BGS are mostly similar, but there is some differences along the way. PSA 10 is the highest grade that you can receive from PSA, and then it jumps down to PSA 9. Now there is no PSA 9.5, but from PSA 9, it'll go down to an 8.5, an 8, a 7.5, and so on. BGS also has a pristine grade of 10, and they also have a 10 in a black label, which I think looks so sharp and so good for really any card to be in. I'll put a picture right here of the black label. I think it looks really good. Now, BGS also has 9.5, 9, and so on. And when you're on eBay looking for cards, you might notice that there's a lot more PSA 10s than these BGS 10s and BGS black cases. And that's because PSA hands out a lot more PSA 10s than BGS does 10s. Now that doesn't mean if I'm sending in one of these raw cards to BGS, it's not going to get a 10. It could, but it has to be in pristine and excellent condition. And that also doesn't mean that if I send this to PSA, it's going to automatically get a 10. It again has to be in great and excellent condition. Now we are going to jump over to raw cards. And again, buying graded cards straight up. Yes, it is more money up front. It is more expensive. But in that case, you do know the market value of that specific card. So again, this is a PSA 10. I know exactly how much PSA 10s of this card go for. However, raw cards, we don't know the exact price of a raw card because each one is in different condition. So I have three of these Donovan Mitchells, the 2017s, raw. They all are different condition. They might, this one might be a 10, this one might be a 9, this one might be an 8. And when I get them graded, they're all going to be different prices. However, this one has a set price right now in the market and it's changing every day. Now, I don't mind buying raw cards. It is a process though to get them graded. It could take a few weeks, a few months. And with all the events occurring in the world right now, it could take even longer. We don't know for sure. Now, buying raw, in my opinion, a tip to buying raw is to buy in lots. Now, here I have three Matisse Thibel Optic cards. And I actually have nine more upstairs in my room that I didn't bring down for the video. I bought all 12 of them for, I believe, $30 for the lot. So if you're doing the math, that's not that much per card. And with that, you can make profit off of that. If you were to, you know, take each card, if Thibault goes off and becomes a superstar, you can take each card and sell each card raw separately and make profit off of that. Or buying in bulk is a good option as well because most likely you're going to get a couple high grades, you know, a couple... BGS 10s possibly, PSA 10s, even PSA 9s, if he does go off and do good, 
PSA 9s will have value. This card right here is a PSA 9, and right now it's worth almost $200 for KD's rookie card. So PSA 9s are fair game, and so as everything else. Every single grade has its own market if you look them up correctly on eBay or any other platform that you like buying cards off of. Now, I want to hit on what I just said again. Buying in lot is probably your best option because if you are going to go out and buy one card the buyer or the seller could overprice that card so you want to watch out for that and again buying in lot you will get a discount or money off per card because they're trying to give you a deal like i said i got 12 of these for uh 30 dollars. i got these three for 25 i bought another uh bulk of matisse Thibel prism cards i got four of them for like 12 bucks so buying in lot will give you the best opportunity to make deals and save some money. Now, another helpful tip for beginners or people just getting back into the hobby when considering sending in cards to get graded is again, there are those turnaround times. Could be a couple weeks, could be a couple months, really depends on the company. And in those couple weeks, couple months, the value of your card could have gone way up or way down. So if I send these three cards in right now to get graded and they come back two months from now, this card could be sitting at, you know, 150 for a PSA 10. They all come back PSA 10s, that's major bang. Or this could have dropped to like 30 bucks. It really depends on the market. So you got to just look into that and make sure you are sending good cards that you know will have profit in the future. Now, again, it does cost money to get graded. It's not free. You're going to have to pay per card. Or if you do in bundle deals, bulk deals, I think you'll get money off per card. You just have to look into the prices for each company and you also have to pay shipping as well but that's where buying lots comes into play because if i buy 12 of them and i believe out of that 12 you know these three could potentially get psa 10s or bgs 10s or really whatever company you want to send them to i could send them in you know spend some money to get graded and then i spent some money on the lot but you know considering just three cards it wouldn't have been that much money spent on just th these three cards you send them in to get graded and they all come back psa 10s bgs 10s you just made major profit for your pocket all right, guys, well, that is it for this video. I just wanted to jump on because I always get comments down below or people DM me on Instagram, Facebook, um, asking me different questions about grading. Is it better to buy this car raw? Should I buy it graded? So I wanted to jump on, answer all those questions in this video. If you have any more questions at all, just leave them down below. And if I get enough down below, I can make a part two to this video for you guys. If you aren't already, make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button and turning the bell notifications button on so you never miss a future video. And if you enjoyed today's content, make sure you consider dropping a like on this video and even drop a comment saying, you know, what you enjoyed about it or what players you think you want to get graded for the future. And with all that being said, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and peace.